again, my name is Gabe Zolner. This is the 21st of January, 2019. Found and watched a rather interesting 8 minute and 29 second video put up by Dr. Ted Noel, and it was published on November the 17th, 2017. So obviously things have progressed significantly since then. And I'm referring to the Speaker of the House of Representatives. You want to listen to what Dr. Ted Noel says. You'll see a variety of clips of Nancy Pelosi and she's clearly not well. Keep in mind this was done well over a year ago. Actually, almost two years ago. And one would obviously assume that whatever's ailing Nancy has progressed. Dr. Ted Noel talks about Alzheimer's and he identifies a series of stages that people go through when they have Alzheimer's. He also talks about Parkinson's disease and another disease, if that's what you want to call it, which is not a disease, it's a condition. And it's called pterodyne dyskensia. The spelling will be in the link. And what that is, is it's a result of medication. But it isn't the kind of medication you would take for a cold. Folks, there's no question that Nancy Pelosi is physically and mentally ill. And the simple fact that the Democrats have her leading the House of Representatives tells me a number of things. One is that Democrats are terrified of Nancy Pelosi. They're terrified of not supporting her because of what she knows about most of them which she would expose, I believe. They're terrified with the power that she wields. And what's frightening is it couldn't be any clearer. She's losing her mind. She can't control her facial expressions. She's lost her ability to remember details, details such as who's in the Oval Office. That's scary. Folks, you can't make this stuff up. Listen to what Dr. Ted Noel has to say and ask yourself a question. What's wrong with our system that doesn't have these people mentally evaluated for the level of competency based on the incredible power that they wield. Folks, we need term limits. We need age restriction. Not only on members of the Senate or Congress, but also the Oval Office. They say that with age comes wisdom, while with age also comes Alzheimer's and Parkinson's disease. Why isn't Nancy Pelosi's doctor put on, or doctors, I'm sure she has more than one, put on a witness stand and questioned about the kind of treatment that she's receiving? Why aren't her pharmaceutical prescriptions being reviewed? Folks, it's scary. When people like her are in positions of power and they exhibit what she exhibits, it's scary. Watch the clip. Let me know what you think. Repost it in all your social media accounts. Pass it along to your like-minded friends. Ask them to do the same. Send a copy to President Trump. Ask him what's he waiting for to demand that 
Nancy Pelosi, third in line for the Oval Office, is examined by mental health professionals to make certain that she's fit for duty should it become necessary for her to assume the role of vice president or even president. That's sort of what I think. Tell me where I'm wrong. You can't, can you?